All right, I'm going to show you how to remove an unwanted object. Very simple. And in this particular shot, all we have is this clock we decided is not really going to work in the picture, so we're going to go in and take it out. So, very simple. All you got to do is grab the polygonal lasso tool. And the reason we're doing this is because there's a bit of a tonal gradation between this side of the wall and this side of the wall, and we want to be able to segregate the two and have it not be so obvious. So I might add a little bit of a feather there and just go one. I'm going to select the top part, hold the shift key down. No, sorry, I'm not going to hold the shift key down. If I hold the shift key down, it creates a nice straight, straight, vertical up and down line. Okay, we're going to select there, 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 there. You can have fun. Coming all around over there. Bingo, and we've got a selection. So now I can go in with the uh, clone stamp normal, not abnormal like me. We go in there now, we can go and paint in the new wall. Simple enough, eh? Look at that. Once that's done, go control D or select, uh, deselect it's in there. You have to polish it up just a little bit. So I'm going to lower the opacity just a bit and just kind of go in here. Just clean it up a little bit. You can see how fast it works though, you know, it's really a great way to remove unwanted objects. Now the only problem with that is we still got half the clock in the wall, that's not good. Somebody stole half the clock. So we're going to go in here, we're going to select the other side. I'm going to come in right close to the lady's hair. And same thing, in reverse, on the other side, I'm going to get rid of the half clock. Using the good old fashioned clone stamp. Almost done. Okay, now I get to show you select, deselect. And of course, again, it needs a little bit of cleaning up, but not much. Let's get that opacity down. We're going to keep it at normal. And we're going to just go in there and clean it up a little bit. You can see where there's a bit of a selection line easily removed. That's all there is to it. It's one way to get rid of unwanted clocks. Actually, there's a really, really good way. We've discovered this really cool technique when you're on the shoot and you want to get rid of the clock in the background. Just go in there and take it out before you shoot the picture. So that's something I discovered before I took this picture or after I dis took this picture. And But when you can't, you know, when it's nailed to the wall, you can easily go in and remove unwanted objects if and when the need be using your selection tool. Thank you.